Hello there, it's me Rama, and this is a demonstration of my in-game file system. Here's my actual file system on my computer. Um, I have some funny colors, because that's how I set up Windows 7 for my eyesight interests. And uh, so there's three directories, dancing, happy, singing, and then there's a bunch of file names, right? So now I'm going to go in-game. This is the actual in-game experience. I'm going to create some objects for myself to play around with. I'm going to get on top of here. Okay, so I'm in-game, quite clearly. There's the sun. <laughs> That's my proof. <laughs> now I'm going to go into the editor mode, and I'm going to look through my files. So there's my little file in this little icon that I made. There's three directories, Dancy, Happy, Singing. And there's these three things. So let's explore the singing directory. This is all in game quite clearly, and there's my little uh, context tooltip thing. So singing, there's more kinds of singing. There's some files. These are the actual files that if you you can actually load the different files once this is all done. This is at the moment just the file browser. There's more kinds of singing. Beneath the waterfall and the shower. And there's the ultimate song. <laughs> So let's go compare that to my actual computer. So this is the actual computer. We explore the singing directory. There's more kinds of singing. The ultimate song, the waterfall, and the shower, the ultimate song, there it is. All right, so as you can tell, this is actually this, the same thing you're seeing in game is actually the same thing as the computer. But uh, what about deleting files? So here's a f this file called file name. So let's delete it on the computer and see if the in-game thing updates properly. So again, the game reality is showing the computer's hard disk. So here's the file uh, file name. Windows 7 wants me to delete it. Watch the in-game browser. Just went away, right? So the in-game browser is reflecting dynamically the state of the hard drive of the computer. So let's create a directory. So I'm happy. Let's make a directory. Call it Sunrays. Okay, so we've made a directory. Let's make another directory called Rainbows. Okay, let's go into Sunrays and let's make a file, an actual file. So this is our new level. Right, because this is going to be a level editor. <laughs> so we're going to make our new level. So that level saved. And for some reason, sometimes it goes full screen when I do that. So let's go back to Windows. And so we're back windowed again. No, just my window. And so let's see. Uh, now let's go back in the file browser and see. We've created singing. Oh, happy. By the way, this is root directory and this is creating new folders. You can type in the tooltips. Sunrays, new level, there it is, right? So let's check out our actual hard drive. Happy, Sunrays, new level. And then the actual file, which at the moment doesn't really contain much information, but it will one day. So that's a demonstration of creating directories. These two directories didn't exist before. Let's prove it though. Let's delete them now. So let's first delete this. Well, actually, I wonder if I can delete when there's f files in the folder. Let's try it. Let's try just deleting Sunrays outright. So it won't, it won't delete Sunrays. It deleted Rainbows just fine because the directory is not empty. So let's actually delete the file manually over here. And then go back over here. And no, oh, it's empty. Let's delete it. Delete. Now it's gone. So now if you look back on the hard drive, it's all gone. Same directory, happy. All these files are now just by themselves. The directories are gone. So that's a complete file browser system, creating and deleting files. And yes, you can open them one day, one that will mean something, and it'll actually load the dynamic geometry and the, the character's position and everything. But at the moment, we have this completely functional file browser system. That's what I've finish creating and again it entirely affects the state of the hard drive so let's recreate file name to let's create actually let's create rainbow we're gonna make a file called rainbow so now we have rainbow 
click on the hard drive, let's go up to the root directory, joy levels, and we have a file called Rainbow, it just got added. I just really like how it updates, so we're gonna, I think we'll just leave it at that. So, that's my file browser system. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Woo! Now that let's see the ultimate song again. What kinds of singing? Ultimate song. <laughs>